So how are you going to handle the situation if you've been involved in an automobile accident with a U.S. mail truck? Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino. I'm a Northwest Indiana personal injury lawyer, and today I'd like to explain a little bit about the situation. Because you were involved in an accident with a U.S. mail truck, you have to follow a specific law called the Federal Tort Claims Act. It's an administrative procedure that'll happen initially. The problem is, or the issue is, if you had a property damage and your vehicle was damaged and you also had a bodily injury claim, the best way to do number one is to get your car fixed or totaled. You want to go through your own insurance if you have collision. I know the bells are going off in your head, but what about my insurance? My insurance rates are going to go up, blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, you're going to pull your hair out of your head if you're going to try to wait for the U.S. mail service to pay you for your vehicle. If you are not at fault for the accident, your insurance is not going to go up. Listen to Uncle Guy. Go ahead and go through your own insurance for your collision or property damage claim. Now, in order to get a claim started under the Federal Tort Claims Act, you have to file a claim with the administrative agency. Now, the problem with that is that you have to be done with your treatment in order to file the claim because on the claim form, which is a Form 95, you have to make a specific demand for damages. So if you put $10,000 and you send in the claim form early, but yet your claim is worth 15 or 20 or 25 or 50, you could get yourself in trouble. So just because you think you're okay, you'll want to go ahead and make sure that you are done treating and you have a handle on all your bills, all your expenses, and your pain and suffering. Now, when that happens, you're gonna fill out the claim form, the Form 95, and you're going to submit that with all the supporting documentation. And in that form, you're going to say, I demand whatever you're going to demand, $50,000, $100,000. Now, at that point in time, the agency will evaluate your claim and they will get back to you. If the agency accepts the claim, you should be able to negotiate the claim with the uh, U.S. mail uh, just like you would any other claim. However, if they deny the claim, your next step at that point in time is you have to file a lawsuit. What's different about these claims is that these claims have to be filed in the federal court. What's different about these claims is you do not have the right to a jury trial. If you go to court, it's going to be a judge that's going to determine who is at fault and what your damages are. The other thing that you need to know about these claims is that typically Attorneys in the state of Indiana in personal injury matters enter a contingency fee contract for one third. You can't do that under the Federal Tort Claim Act. What the fee is, is 20% for the attorney if it is settled at the administrative level. If the case has to go to court and gets determined in court by a judge, then the fee is 25%. There are a number of hoops that you have to jump through. You need to be careful and I can tell you that it's probably best if you are involved in a motor vehicle accident with any federal agency vehicle to probably speak to a lawyer and have the lawyer help you with that case. Any questions, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino meeting you 
at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a great day.